Hey there, I'm Barbara Clark with the Florida Public Archaeology Network, and today we're going to be talking trash. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why on earth are we going to be talking about garbage and how does it relate to archaeology? Archaeologists study garbage. We just study really old garbage. But just like old garbage, modern garbage can tell us about the people who made that trash as well. So today you're going to be an archaeologist and you're going to be studying yourself and your household. Now parents, what you're going to do is you're going to collect about two or three days worth of trash. I rinse it out and then put it in a separate bag. Kids, what you're going to have to do is create a journal. So archaeology is a destructive science. So we have to make notes of everything we do and everything we find because we can't put it back again. So you can decorate your journal any way you'd like. I put about five pages of computer paper together and just stapled it. You're gonna need a pencil because you're gonna have to record your findings. And then because it's kind of windy out today, I have two bins, so hopefully my garbage won't blow away. So archeologists use something called stratigraphy to understand how old something is. The older something is, the deeper in the ground it'll be. So in our case, the older something is, the closer to the bottom of our garbage bag it will be. Now archaeologists, when we dig, we don't just dive in there and take things out. We do it very systematically. Archaeologists dig about 10 centimeters at a time. So we dig in layers. So we're going to be taking our garbage out in layers two days worth. So we're going to have two layers. If you want, you can use a ruler or a measuring tape and measure it out. We're not going to do that today, but you can if you'd like. And you'll notice too, I'm wearing gloves because we are dealing with garbage, right? So we want to keep our hands safe. Parents, make sure there's nothing sharp or anything that can poke a kid or hurt a child in the back. So let's get started. The first thing I take out is just an egg carton. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been eating a lot of eggs lately. So that tells us a little bit about our diet and what people are eating. Now, in archaeology, we might find oyster shells or fish bones, things that tell us what people a long time ago were eating. We also have two little garden packets, Swiss chard and sunflowers. I like to garden, so if somebody were looking through my trash, they would know that I like to garden by the things I leave in my trash that have to do with gardening. That can also give us seasonality, right? We all plant our gardens in the spring after the last frost. So you can also tell seasons by what you find in the ground. Oh. Dog food. So I wouldn't have this if I didn't have a dog, would I? So now you know that I have pets. See how you're starting to learn a little bit about who I am? I like to garden. I eat eggs, I have at least one puppy dog. Next thing I have are ingredient containers from a meal I made. This is coconut milk and lemongrass paste. So this gives you specific ingredients for something I was making. So you might not know exactly what it is, but you kind of get an idea of what it might have tasted like. It also shows that I cook, I don't necessarily eat out. Of course, that could differ because right now we're in a pandemic and all the restaurants are closed, right? So my garbage might actually look a lot different another time when I was able to go out and eat at a restaurant. Speaking of pandemic, a little empty bottle of hand sanitizer. Now, usually I don't use a lot of hand sanitizer, but this, these days I definitely am. Oh, we have another ingredient tomato paste. So we're starting to learn a little bit more about what might have been in the food I'm eating and what it might have tasted like. This is something else that is specific to the pandemic. Little sewing scraps, little threads, some fabric. This is from me making a mask. So this is something that you might not typically find in my garbage, even though I do sew sometimes, but because of what we know is going on right now and looking at the context of the other things we have, we can tell that this might be due to the pandemic. Another artifact dealing with gardening. We have a little plant label. This one's for blueberries. So we know a little bit more about what I've been planting in my yard. Oh, and some quarantine snacking going on here. We have the remains of my Easy Mac. 
So again, it gives you a little bit more information about my diet. And the last thing in this layer for this day is just a mailing label, a little package. Now, I don't know about you, but right now I've been ordering a lot of things online because I don't want to go into the stores. Now we're gonna start our second layer. So this stuff is a little bit deeper in the bag. If we were an archeologist, it would be a little bit deeper in the ground. So using stratigraphy, we know that this stuff is older. So this is, oh, orange juice. A Little bit more dietary information. Toilet paper roll, I don't know about you guys, but when you're staying home all the time, you definitely use a little bit more of that oatmeal container. Again, a little dietary information. Again, we're seeing another dog food container. Of course, you have to feed your dog every day. So you would expect to find at least one of these per day in your garbage, right? More dietary information and Nutri-Green bar. Now, one thing I've noticed is there's only one of everything, right? If I was living with a big family, you might find multiple of these or multiple macaroni and cheese containers but you're finding only one of most things, which tells you how many people may live in my house. Now, this is something I don't usually use, again, but because of the pandemic, I've been definitely using gloves if I have to go out. And last but not least, my favorite. I'm a big chocolate eater, and this right here was all mine. And you can see how each day is a little bit different, but each day it has the, some of the same stuff, right? You have your dog food, you have food that I would eat, you have things relating to the pandemic. So this is exactly what an archaeologist does. We learn about people from the past by looking at the things they leave behind, and a lot of times that's garbage we've actually dug, and garbage pits, and Native, amount, Native American um, garbage middens where they would put their trash and that can tell you all sorts of things. So to sum up, dietary information, seasonality, how many people were there. Sometimes you can tell if they're a boy or a girl. We can't always learn everything, but every bit of information that we gather tells us a little bit more and you can put that together to create a full story. Archaeology isn't done until you've written a report, I always say. So after you've done all this, you can write what you found, make a list, draw pictures of it. And the reason for that is because archeology span is destructive. And without this information, all the stuff we found would be meaningless. You can email us, go on our website, fpan.us. And if anybody has any questions, please give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks.